Hi everybody, this is Joe Montana and we're going to get you ready for the test uh, tomorrow on Chapter 5. Let's begin. Alright, so we're going to write a rule for the function represented by the graph and then identify the domain and the range of the function. Remember the domain is your x's and your range is your y's, okay? Alright, so they're going to give you a graph. Here's your graph right here. What you need to do is list these ordered pairs. So let's make a t-chart first, you guys, an xy t-chart. And I'm going to list this ordered pair right here, down here first. So here's the origin right here. It goes to the left one, so negative 1, down 3. So negative 1, negative 3. Okay, there it is down there. And you put that in your XY uh, T chart right there. Okay, this next point right here is to the left and right 0. It just went down 2, so it's at 0, negative 2. All right. And then those other ones, this one over here, right here, is to the right 1, down 1, so 1, comma, negative 1. This one right here is over 2, up 0. And this one over here is, is over 3, up 1. Okay, so, so there they are right there. Uh, going right there, so I'm going to fill those in. All right, now let's take a look at, says write a rule for this function. Look at all these, uh, the relationship between x and y. Right here it's really easy to see. Can you see that y is 2 less than x right here? Is negative 1 2 less than uh, positive 1? Yes. Is 0? 2 less than 2, yes, is 1, 2 less than 3, so y is always 2 less than uh, x is, okay? It's not y equals, well, it's yeah, that's what it is, it's just um, uh, uh, each uh, y value is 2 less than the x value, and then right there, you guys, uh, highlighted it in red, that's your, that's your uh, y intercept where it crosses the y axes, so remember y equals mx plus b, this is my plus b at negative 2 right there, okay? So um, I knew it was going to be that, so uh, it's y equals x minus 2. Okay? Uh, all right, so graph each equation. Here we go. Uh, y plus 3x equals 1. I think it's easiest to just uh, subtract 3x on this one on both sides and get it in y equals mx plus b form. This is my slope, negative 3. This is my y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis. So I'm going to go ahead and make a, a, a graph right there. And I'm going to graph this point first. Always graph when you have it in y equals mx plus b form. Go and graph your y-intercept at plus 1 right there. Okay, so that's what this is right there. Now I'm going to use this slope over here. This slope is negative 3, which is the same as negative 3 over, run, over 1. Remember, slope, you guys, is rise over run. So my rise is negative 3. So from here, I'm going to go down 3. 1, 2, 3. And then my run is 1. So I'm going to go over 1 and put a point right there. Okay? down 3 to the right 1, all right, from that uh, one point right there. And you're going to put a point, you're going to make a line go through it. Don't forget, I want you to label the line, so put the equation of the line. Okay, here's another one. This one looks kind of similar, you guys, and you can do what we just did right there, but I think it's easier, especially on this one, to just do your x and y intercepts. Your x-intercept is when y equals 0. So when y equals 0, it gets rid of this y, and you're left with 3x equals 3. And your y-intercept is when x equals 0. So it gets rid of this 3x, and you're left with y equals 3. Okay? So here we go. For my x-intercept right here, I let y be 0. gets rid of that, and you have th you're have you just left with 3x equals 3 or x equals 1. And then when you get rid of the, um, uh, the, the x right here, when x is 0, y equals 3. So just graph those two points. Those are my x-intercepts. There's x equals 1 right there. There's y equals 3 right there. You're going to connect them with the line. Don't forget to label your line with the equation right next to it. All right? Okay, this one right here, you guys. Okay, this one, we haven't really done one of these in class. So I'm, what I'm going to do is plus 12 to both sides and then use my intercept method. That's what we just did on the last one was the intercept method. So when I plus 12 to both sides, uh, I'm left with negative uh, 3x plus 4y equals 12. And then use the intercept method. Let uh, y be 0 for x and let x be 0 for y. Okay, so when y is 0, that goes away. You're left with negative 3x equals 12. Divide by negative 3, and 12 divided by negative 3 is 4. Okay, over here, when you let x be 0, the negative 3x goes away, and you're left with 4y equals 12, or y equals 3. Okay, you're going to graph those two points right there. Don't forget to label your line. Okay, and then uh, we're going to find the slope. Don't forget about slope. Uh, when it passes through two points, you're going to use the slope formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Right here, this is my x1, y1. This is my x2, y2. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put uh, uh, the y's on top, the 9 minus 0, and the x's on bottom, 4 minus a minus 2. 
Now watch out you guys, 4 minus a minus 2, this becomes 4 plus 2 downstairs. 4 plus 2 is 6, so 9 over 6. And then notice 3 goes into 9 and 3 goes into 6. So if I divide both of those by 3, you've got to reduce it, you guys. So the slope is equal to 3 halves. All right? Okay, number 2, here's a picture. Okay, now you can do the same thing if you wanted to. Slope formula, you can, you can call this one over here x1, y1, and this one x2, y2. But when they give you a picture, you guys, I'm going to do the rise over run trick. Okay, the rise is how much you got to start at your leftest most point. How much did it have to go up to get to the level of the right point over there? It had to go up 2, so the rise is 2. And then the run is how much did it have to go over? It had to go over 8, so the run is 8. So the slope is 2 over 8, which reduces to 1 fourth. Now you could have used slope formula, but I think if it's a picture they give you, then, then rise over run works best.